All right, everyone, welcome back into another Flush Friday. Going to be touching on the top prop bets here on Prize Picks for you guys to use on your Flush Friday slip. Let's go in and get into it. So, yes, kind of annoyed with Prize Picks today because they came out with their fancy score prop bets extremely late for NBA, and they didn't come out with them for college basketball today. I feel like that's a perfect example of really the edge that we get with fancy score props uh, on a day in and day out basis. And right now, we are getting that as well. Uh, but unfortunately, I, like, I just, <laughs> this is the earliest I could do the video then with the full board coming out at like 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So apologies for the late video. Really not on me. Uh, does kind of suck. I know video-wise, this is this is really going to end up hurting the channel. So if you guys can, tomorrow when I release the college basketball props video and the NBA props video, you guys know that's a pretty big edge already. Uh, just make sure to give that video a like. Uh, jump in there right away. That'll, that'll just kind of negate how this video performs. Uh, so yeah, looking at today's slate, we can see we already are getting... Four prop bets are going to be highly correlated prop bets. And to me, guys, these are the four prop bets that I want to roll out there. Now, we are going to see uh, Grace Now for under fantasy score popping up in there as a good prop bet. We are seeing Kyle Kuzma as a good prop bet that's pulling up in there. And we are actually seeing uh, Mike Conley for over fantasy score popping up in there as well. So we have opportunity game stack. And then we also have two other good fantasy score props that are pretty good prop bets. So I want to touch on Kyle Kuzma and Grayson Allen fantasy score wise to start. And so looking at Grayson Allen, his role has finally been reduced back to kind of what it, his expect, expected role was going to be at the start of the season with Eric Gordon, really everyone healthy. Uh, I think this is what we're going to start to see more continuously. And so for the most part, this does seem to be a good prop bet for the under fantasy score. Maybe he does get back up to 33 minutes. He did get a little bit banged up in the last game. Uh, that could hinder his minutes here as well. But you will see here, he's had the under a bunch. Now, given the matchup with Atlanta, where it could be a little bit higher scoring of a game and whatnot, I don't know if I exactly want to target Grayson Allen, but it is seemingly a good prop bet on paper. And then Kyle Kuzma, I do think his under fantasy score is one I can get behind. He is going against Miami, which we know is a tough matchup. He's also been someone that has had his, his minutes get reduced lately. Okay, He was someone that was typically averaging like 35 to 37 or so at the start of the season. Now it's starting to see 32, 33 or so. And so if that trend continues, yeah, I think that betting the under fantasy score firm is a prop bet that makes sense. And then real quickly is go, go ahead and get into this game, that Miami versus Orlando game. We are seeing that we are getting some really good correlated prop bets, and this is going to be the slip I run out. Now, Carl Anthony Towns for under his fantasy score is seemingly a good one against Orlando. Orlando, for whatever reason, has been a good defensive matchup. And so people are going to see this and probably not want to run it out for his under fantasy score. And I get that. But at the same time, it should be difficult for him to get there. And then we also are seeing Rudy Gobert for under his fantasy score as well. I don't know why I'd say that correlates. Again, Orlando, for whatever reason, has been pretty good uh, at stopping opposing bigs. Now, the slight caution is that if he gets ruled out, then yeah, Carl Anthony Towns that would flip yeah, his over fantasy score would be much better there. But for now, I think those two correlate pretty heavily. And the only worry that I have with the prop bets here is that Markel Fultz, we're seeing that his over fantasy score is one that we should be rolling with. And then Jalen Suggs, same thing as well. Now, both of them have been getting more minutes recently, but they, I don't think that's a trend that we can expect to continue with Orlando. Typically speaking, they haven't given those guards that many minutes, but these four prop bets are the four prop bets that I want to, want to run out for a flex Friday slip together. Now, if you want to add in Kyle Kuzma, you could Grayson Allen, you could, or, or Mike Conley, you could, but those are the four I'm running out. And so, yes, a quick, simple, easy video here for you guys. Uh, I like these prop bets. They correlate pretty heavily, uh, which is great. Typically we don't get that. So here's the flex Friday slip fingers crossed that hits. That's going to be all. Thank you guys for watching. Let's have a good slate today. If you guys want to access to any of the tools, head on over to 95sports.com. Give a like and subscribe to this video. But also, tomorrow morning, guys, when I drop that video, just be on the lookout for that. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Let's have a good slate. And as always, let's keep cashing.